What's up guys, today I've got a tournament match from the Xbox Anniversary Invitational, an event I'm currently hosting to celebrate the anniversary of the Age of Empires 2 release on Xbox. Everyone competing in this event won a controller tournament in 2023 and is fighting here to prove themselves as the champion of champions and thus the best current controller player in the world. This match features Zotico, one of the fastest players on controller, against Delta Fates, who, despite being a top 10 player on the controller ladder, is still looking for his first win in the event. This was game one of the second best of three between them. Enjoy the match. Zotico here in the red as Burgundians. The red, my favorite in-game color. I think that the red units and buildings uh, just look the coolest out of all of the player color options. So Burgundians get the uh, access to cheaper and earlier eco technologies. And sometimes on four legs, you can go for a boomier approach as there's a decently closed wall off on a lot of generations. This one actually not the uh, most closed dish. See if Zotico wants to go though for FC sometimes, especially with the help of the fish. We see uh, that's the strategy that players will go for on this map. And that can be strong for the Burgundians getting into uh, the Castle Age Cavalier. And I'm still thinking this was four legs because that's what they picked <laughs> on the dashboard showing that when the lobby was initially set up. This is Kawasan. There's only two lakes. <laughs> so two lakes in the center, a whole bunch of fish in them. And of course the big berry and relic hill there in the middle of the map. The Delta up here on the north as the Portuguese backside of the map really open for Delta and the golden stone, especially the gold a bit far from the TC, his closer gold, the main gold uh, there on the front. So a little bit of a rough map generation there for Delta. See what Zotico is working with. Also has a gold forward, but the way that this trees have generated uh, has an easier wall off to be able to secure the gold even from Archer Fire. Gold on the back for him as well. Barry's not as exposed. So Zotico with the better map uh, so far, I think between these two guys starting things off on Kawasan, uh, getting into the second series, gonna be on hybrid maps. All right, Zotico headed over to Wood and already out scouting the shorelines. So it's taking a lap around the Western Lake. See what Delta has scouted so far. So just scouting at home for Delta has not gone to investigate the lakes yet. Going to bring in his boar. And almost takes a third shot there on the boar. Going to lose some HP here on this villager on the way back. Gonna make it to the TC though. Villager not gonna go down. Oh, all right, not gonna go down. <laughs> and Boar comes in. So again, going mill first. Uh, making some sense though with the Portuguese, given that you get wood from the berries, but then still sending some villagers out here, not able to afford a lumber camp just yet, and needing to make a house even further, delaying that lumber camp forced back onto straggler trees, as we saw happen on Socotra. All right, Zotico going to dock. Both players uh, just one and two seconds then of idle TC so far. Nice dock for Zotico, close to some deep fish and some turtles. Delta going to find this, though. No loom on the villager. And just passing. <laughs> so Delta not watching the scout there. Could have got a free kill, denied the dock to start things off. Unfortunately, missing out on that opportunity. Will alone know where the dock is, so I mean, at least not not all for not uh, able to <laughs> at least get that intelligence, uh, knowing the where the opponent's dock would be. If he wants to pressure that going into the next age. Zotico does have five there on wood, going to be able to keep his fishing ship production rolling as the boar comes in. Second boar for Zotico in weakened with the TC even. No mill yet for our red player. Makes sense uh, to save the wood to keep those fishing ships producing out of the dock. And it looks like Delta sending this villager to dock the opposite pond. And just four on wood for Delta. I guess is getting wood from the berries. And here we go. Scout loop back around. Realize the villager was there. Gonna get the kill. First kill goes to Delta in this one. Let's go. And Delta even ahead in idle TC so far. Zotico up to 26 seconds as he clicks loom. Going to be headed up to the next stage. Delta just with one second on his side.
And villager actually still headed forwards. Uh, <laughs> walked right past two villagers, even. Not interested. I thought the, the one was coming over here to dock the eastern pond. Uh, Delta actually sending two villagers forwards instead. The no one on stone for Delta, so not likely to be towers, going to gold. And so I guess maybe forward archery range? Or he's just looking around for the pond, hasn't actually scouted it. Uh, but both players on the way to the next stage. Zadiko grabbing bit axe on the way up, as is good to do with the Burgundians. Some players will even grab it in Dark Age, if you've got the uh, extra food to do so. But grabbing it up on the way, still giving you a bit of a boost over your opponent, getting some more wood in more smoothly earlier on. The so Delta working on some walls here at home. I wish this house was a couple tiles more forwards, uh, like at the front rather than blocking off access to some of those gold tiles. Walling towards the TC here, though. All right, two villagers actually just went back to build the dock and take the shore fish. Since there's two of them, though, I wonder if I'm not sure if it's, that's a misclick or maybe we're going to see like a forward archery range coming up from those villagers here in a moment. As Zotico, three seconds out, late barracks. So they're not going to be able to attack right away in the second age. Uh, they're at first Delta 30 seconds away. Delta ahead in population. They're 23 villagers to 22. Actually more ahead in villagers is the fishing ships, making the difference for Zotico, who's actually taking the turtles with the fishing ships. The shore fish, not actually as efficient as going for the deep fish with your fishing ships. Villagers efficient on the shore fish. Ships better on the deep fish. Barracks complete for Zotico. Both players in the next stage. Zotico working on some walls there on the backside of his base. Just the two fishing ships out there for Delta. Doesn't have a huge amount of wood. 13 villagers on wood, uh, but they're like all over here around this one lumber camp, even kind of walking around the curve there. And a weak villager in on that uh, lumber action as well. Just about finished up with the berries, continuing to work on the wall off. The barracks up at home, villagers on the front, still just taking the shorefish, not enough wood to try to make a forward building. Zotico gonna go stable, opening up scouts. No bloodlines for the Burgundians. So while the Burgundian stable techs are cheaper, making it more viable to go for paladin with them, they're not necessarily the best paladin, given that you miss out on bloodlines. But the way things have been going tonight, we uh, probably won't make it to Imperial Age, but here's hoping that we get a longer, tighter game for game one then of our second series here on the hybrid map. So the archer range actually going to come up for Delta, but at home. And adding in some houses to extend that wall. Delta still just two seconds of idle TC so far. All right, box turtles cleared up. Four fishing ships for Zotico out to take, weirdly, this fish that's further away, uh, rather than the fish closer to the dock there. The Zotico nest now finding his opponent, taking a look around the TC. Uh, no one under the TC actually to garrison. Scout's gonna find the dock. They could force Delta to make a galley and park it here to uh, deny stop the scouts from taking that down. Uh, no, we're going to make a fire, actually, instead. So taking a look at scouting, Delta has seen both ponds, found the dock, knows r where his opponent is, didn't find all the resources there on the back. As far as what Zotico can see, uh, better vision more thoroughly on the ponds, and similarly uh, saw mostly everything inside Delta's base except actually right where the gold is. Spears in the middle for Delta, able to push those scouts away. All right, forward dock, trying to take the lake from his opponent. Scout's going to be able to maybe deny that. No, dock's going to go up. Villagers will go down, though. The dock complete, getting another villager kill on the way. One to one in kills, and Scout's going to disengage as the spearmen head over. So still one villager killed apiece. This one able to survive. Uh, for the moment, more Scouts headed forward for Sadako, and villager's going to go down. 
Delta did manage to kill a couple scouts, though, on that side with the archers and the spearmen. Kills tied up at three. Azotico grabbing the Castle Age wood upgrade. And here comes a demo ship from Delta. Big shot, four, <laughs> three fishing ships down. Fourth one escapes <laughs> on the return trip to the dock there. And gonna make a couple fires here to close things out on the water on this side. One fire galley out for Zotico. Dock still under attack here by the two scouts. Fire is out on this side. Looks like has not actually attacked either of those scouts. So Delta's fires have 10 more HP with that Portuguese bonus here, so 100 to 110. And taking some free damage though as the gather point set forwards. So Fire are going to target the fish first, so Zotico will actually, for the moment at least, win the water on this side. Uh, Delta prioritizing taking that fishing ship down will lose the Fire Galley because of it. The scout still slowly chipping away at the dock on this side. Dock down below 1000 HP. Fire now headed over to try to push those guys away. Scout's going to attack the fire. Scout's going to retreat. And Delta still expanding his walls there, adding a stable at home. Up to 13 farms for him, 11 for his opponent Zotico, who just lost all of his fish over here. And it looks like Delta going to be able to clear up that fire ship now. No production then from the dock, Zotico conceding the lake on the west side. Uh, Delta may be overcommitting a bit, adding some more navy uh, when his opponent is not. Archer's Spearman's in to attack Zotico's base. Kills 9 to 6 right now in Delta's favor. Zotico going to grab armor for his scouts next. Scout's going to hang out here to defend. Archer's looking for a way in, not going to be able to find it. Uh, walled to the void there. Archer's could just camp here, deny this wood at least. That's what uh, Delta is going to do. Scout trying to take down the dock. A couple fires here to push those back. And Zotico still not wanting to produce from the dock to try to reclaim that water. So pushed off of wood here by the archers. Skirms out for Zotico. Skirms getting some good hits there on the spearmen. Spearmen going down. Scouts now that are going to dive in and clear up the remaining army. Well microed there from Zotico to get that big clear. And leg in the wall. Going to wall towards the wood over here. Actually does go all the way to the edge of the map there. Zotico has 10 scouts. Uh, we saw on Kawasan in last time Zotico just actually went like legitimately like full feudal, like not clicking up to Castle Age at all. Uh, just making an ass load of scouts uh, seems to be what he has in mind to do here again. The three ships there left in the pond for Delta. Engagement on the hill. Zotico can easily clear that up. Big numbers advantage. Delta grabbing bloodlines minute 50 from Castle Age. Zotico's just about got his resources to advance. Uh, if he's actually going to go to Castle Age, <laughs> would be there a couple minutes then behind his opponent. But we'll see if that's the play or if he's actually just going to stay in feudal here again. Another stable coming up for Delta at home. So Delta will have the advantage in Castle Age if we end up seeing knights against knights without a. Uh, the bloodlines making the difference. I guess Zotico, though, could grab that early Cavalier. Scout trying to break in. Delta trying to rewall here with houses. Skirms trying to deny that wall. All right, Zotico is going to go up to Castle Age. Two minutes out for him, grabbing armor for his Skirms. 21 seconds away for Delta. All right, Delta in Castle Age, grabbing armor for the Cav. There's three fishing ships over here and added in one on this side, not actually working. Gather point set there a little bit past where the fish are. Scout still not able to break it. Now they are. Now the scouts are in. 
Just under a minute to Castle Age for Zotico. Delta has his first couple knights out. Spears and knights coming forward to defend, taking some losses there on the wood. Five villagers killed now for Delta Four for Zotico as the knights and spears arrive to engage against the scouts. And a bunch of idle villagers, scouts still finding good value despite uh, going down slowly to the knights and spears. Vil's going to commit to take down the remaining scout there on the wood as Zotico reaches the castle age. First thing for Delta, grabs a TC in the next age after clearing up the raid there in his wood. And Zotico going for Cavalier. And it looks like Delta deleted a house here to get out to make the TC, allowing those scouts to get in. Now actually going to attack the house from the inside. <laughs> knights chasing the skirms away across the center of the map. Couple knights out for Zotico. 30 seconds away from Cavalier. Better blacksmith upgrades, though, for Zotico at this point. Outnumbered. And Delta wants a TC in the middle. One TC for Zotico. And gonna go for three stable knights. Well, three stable cavalier, even being the Burgundians. Heavy plow already in for Zotico. Plus two attack on the way next for those Cavalier. DC complete over here. Scouts are going to get a hit underneath. Garrison and one scout should go down. If one goes down, one gets away. Delta trying to add in a monastery. Had mixed luck with the monasteries so far tonight for Delta. In the first game, got a conversion or two. Uh, in the second, built one, not able to convert anything. So TC complete in the middle. And Delta has more HP between the Knights and the Cavalier here. Plus two armor on the way for Zotico. The Knight, 10 attack, no attack upgrades for Delta. And the Cavalier, 12 plus two on Zotico's side. Zotico going to add in some pikes. And now adding in some TCs at home. Both players going to be up to three TCs. Delta ahead in eco right now, 57 to 49. Trying to thicken up this wall over here. Added in a stone gate. Going to put some houses behind the palisades. First monk out going to grab some relics from the middle. Zotico wants a monastery on the front. Cavalier going to hang out there, make sure that goes up. Two monks out now for Delta. Third on the way. And Delta on stone. If he was going for a castle, I'm not actually sure where necessarily I would place it. As like controlling the middle uh, with the hill, the relics, and the berries can be valuable. But Zotico, of course, uh, with playing Cavalier, could just run past that. And maybe making a castle at home uh, here. Maybe defending your gold there or here. But I guess you wouldn't want to be there close to the hill if things go late, being able to get Treb down from the hill. So not sure where, exactly where uh, would be the best spot necessarily for Delta to build that castle. I mean, maybe he's going to YOLO it. Uh, try to put it right here would be cool. Uh, denying two gold piles from his opponent. Another stable on the way. Two more. So we're going to have five stables then from Zotico, who's adding in uh, some mangonels. The so Delta's got a relic in his hands there, has not yet sent the monk home. After seeing monks from his opponent, going to grab the new devotion tech, adding in some conversion resistance. Three relics coming back for Zotico. Or er, for Delta, excuse me. One for Zotico. Delta still doing better than uh, his opponent in idle TC, 214 to just about five minutes for his opponent. Uh, KD just about even at 27 to 28. Manganel rolls forward and <laughs> kills a villager. <laughs> and Delta not going to engage with the knights. 11 cavalier there. Get 16 knights. Manganel trying to eat TC. 
Could be a big fight here for Delta if he's able to use all those monks to get a couple conversions. So all five monks targeted onto Cavalier can engage with the Knights at the same time. Let's go. Conversions rolling in. Here comes three. Four, five conversions now for Delta. Huge engagement. And a sixth and a seventh. Let's go. Kill still, though. 36 all. So Zako made a ram. Uh, that ram about to get gobbled up uh, with the help of the converted cavalier. Hand cart on the way for Zotico. Here's the castle forwards from Delta. Uh, not quite where I was hoping it would go, but still uh, not a bad castle. Able to uh, deny access to that mining camp, the gold pile, and some wood. Delta unable to start constructing the castle. The uh, skirmishers from Zotico blocking that foundation. Going for some more conversions. Two more come in. So Delta was having a bit of trouble with the monks earlier in the set tonight. Uh, big monk play in this game so far in game one, then on a hybrid on Kawasan here. Up to 10, 11 maybe conversions so far. And just three villagers building the forward castle. Two of them even uh, low HP. Lots of army here forward. A huge difference in army population. 40 to 10 in Delta's favor. And Zotico gonna have to stonewall behind this. Alright, Zotico trying to build a house there <laughs> underneath the castle foundation. Uh, villager converted. Castle at 50%. Still just three villagers there for Delta working on that. Knights trying to break through the barracks. And Knights and Cavalier are going to pull back, attacking these stables instead. Zotica with some villagers headed this direction. Going to add in some more stables there a bit further away. Dock went down in this pond. So Delta with full control of the water in both ponds. A couple fishing ships out in either. Delta head in resources, 27,000 to 26.4. Has nine monks here forwards on the way to Imperial Age. Zotico, though not too far behind, uh, going to be able to advance shortly if he wants to. Redemption in now for Delta. Zotico trying to raid with some spearmen here in the middle. Looks like Delta hasn't actually noticed that spearmen get a kill <laughs> even on the berry villagers. Bringing in another relic, though that's going to be four for Delta. Actually, the relic taken out of Zotico's monastery, fifth one to follow. Delta with some organ guns out. And this this might be it. This might be the game. Delta about to get his first win here. Looking pretty strong in this position. 4-3-9 to three to nine army count. Ahead in overall population, 141 to 97. Going to be an Imperial Age about two minutes, a minute and a half faster than Zotico. Villagers from Zotico trying to escape. Run into the fire ships on the shoreline. Zotico wants a defensive castle. Manganel converted. Able to then deny that castle. Villagers going to rush down the siege. And cavalry regrouping. Uh, what in the new and improved? Uh, supposedly, in the new uh, public update uh, preview patch on Steam, the pathing has been fixed. I haven't actually been able to try that out, but the reception on Reddit has seemed positive so far. Castle up to 70%. And this, that man, converted mango is actually still up, uh, not going to try to commit on denying the castle. Delta, though, going to respond here with a second forward castle of his own. Imp is in. And Zotico still trying to wall up. Going to add another TC. So four TCs at home for Zotico, sending a couple cavalier here forward, maybe to raid, maybe to take down the dock. Minute out from Imperial for our red player. Whole bunch of villagers headed forward to build the second castle. Uh, just three villagers built the first one. Uh, sending 36 <laughs> villagers forwards to build this next one. Delta scouting the corner over there. 
And these villagers in danger than the wood line, not uh, too far from the castle, just barely out of range even. First Treb out from Delta, firing on the castle already. Second castle complete. Castle gonna start to shoot down these stables. Cavalier and knights in on the wood. Zotico up to the next stage. Delta up to 22 villagers killed. Gonna lose an engagement on the opposite side of his opponent's base. Zotico gonna steal this gold from his opponent. Zotico stole some berries from him in Socotra on the previous game. Castle down to 1200 HP, two trebs out for Delta. Castle goes down, third treb comes out. Kind of an AI army for uh, Delta with the spears, organ guns, mangonels, knights, monks, trebs, a little bit of everything, but it's working though. Delta looking strong here. And monk still even holding the relic <laughs> out here. Another treb pops out. The four relics in the monastery, fifth in the monk's hands. And counterattack, Cavalier raiding on the north side here in Delta's base. And Zonico taking the lead in villagers killed up to 31. Now with this raid, Delta sending his Cav home to defend. Blast Furnace in for Delta, still a minute 20 seconds away for Zonico. Zonico wants pikes now. All right, De Delta able to clear things up at home, taking some losses, but eventually clearing up the raiding Cavalier. And Zotico with redemption just gonna convert these stables. <laughs> Forces Zotico to just delete the other two after this first conversion comes in. Forward farms, let's go. Starting TC going down to the Trebs. Halberdier coming in for Zotico. So given that Delta has the two castles here, it could just pop out some more organ guns. I uh, don't know that the Halberdier are gonna be super effective. Zotico going for a university now. Delta had 95 to 80 in kills. Still had in population 167 to Zotico, just over 100. Couple more conversions targeted. First comes in. And another. Another big play with the monks. Four conversions there for Delta. And Zotico actually pop caps now, uh, losing the castle, some houses, and the TC. Zotico grabbing squires for the halberdier. Only has the first armor on those. And kind of trickling them in, uh, outnumbered against the Cavalier from his opponent. And the monk holding the relic uh, even ordered forwards. Plus two armor for the Halberdier on the way for Zotico. 20 seconds away, Cavalier raiding all over his base. Is trying to expand over here to the side, not ready to give it up, wanting to reboom. Conscription on the way for Delta Racer as well. Halberdier engaging with the Cavalier. Not enough of them. Halberdier are going to go down. Siege rolling forward. More organ guns in the mix now to help deal with those Halberdier. The Delta grabbing ballistics uh, doesn't have any ranged units. Uh, it would, of course, still benefit the castles and the TCs. Zotico trying to make a TC all the way over here in the corner. <laughs> and there we go, Delta gets his first win, let's go. So game one on hybrid maps goes to Delta Fades, uh, no longer with the goose egg on the scoreboard, gets a win over Zotico. That was a good game. Delta looked really strong here. Just uh, looking only at this game, you would not have guessed how things had went otherwise in the tournament. Of course, in his first two matchups was uh, facing off against Ghost and Faith, the top seeds, uh, one and two, respectively. Able to get the W in the second series here. So Zotico will have to pick the game two map, being the loser here in game one. Delta has a chance then to score his first point, climb up over Beaverman, even in the standings 
But I'm just excited uh, to see the win here.